Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hello everyone, this is Josh, and here we have a StarCraft II commentary brought to you by PokerDiscounts.com. If you're going to be playing any online poker in the near future, please use them, save yourself some money. But this game is going to be played between MTW Night End and Eiskaj. <laughs> uh, pretty sure that's a Danish name, and I'm not pronouncing it right, nor am I even going to try. But uh, this player is actually also known as Sierra, or Ciara. He's a Warcraft 3 player, and he's very, very good at StarCraft 2 as well. He's been doing very well in Zotac Cups and ESL Europe Cups and things like that. Night End is a member of Team MTW. I forget right now what that stands for, but Night End, also a very good player. Um, he is the Green Protoss up here at the top of Lost Temple, and Sierra is the Red Zerg over on the right side. Should see a good game here. This one was played for a Go4 SC2 Cup very recently. Not sure what round it was, but uh, this game did catch my eye because, you know, it's about, it's a good length for casting, and pretty much that's what I look for is uh, anything that's not a mirror match and is under about 22 minutes. If, if the replay lasts about 22 minutes or less, I can squeeze it into one part and uh, just bring it to you guys uninterrupted. So it looks like Night End is going to be building out here in front of his natural with a pylon and a forge. So we call this the Protoss Forge Fast Expand. It is not that very standard gateway assimilator cybernetics core build that we see a lot. Instead, he's going to spend some chrono boost on his economy, probably for the first while of this game, actually, because he does not have any gateways up yet. And Sierra, over on the other hand, is dropping a spawning pool at a pretty normal time around 13 or 14. Didn't quite catch exactly, but uh, it's not going to matter that much. Basically all we're looking for is, is he going to fast expand? It doesn't look like he is just yet, although he is saving up some minerals, but uh, you know, it remains to be seen whether he'll get a queen right away or some zerglings. We'll just have to see. He is going to get that queen right away and not save up for that natural expansion just yet. And production tab is open, so always keep an eye on that if you feel like I'm missing something. Uh, looks like Night End is just going to be dropping a cannon here. Probably going to be filling the rest of the space with a gateway and a cybernetics core, or even two gateways eventually while he gets this expansion up. And it looks like even though Sierra did get that queen first and some lings, he is going to be the first one to drop a natural expansion. Night End actually planning for a fast expansion still hasn't dropped his. Looks like he is starting to save up now after getting that first gateway down. Does not have an assimilator going either. He uh, still doesn't have enough for a Nexus, so he's going to be a bit behind uh, Sierra. And two assimilators coming up, or extractors rather. Zerg gas things are extractors, Protoss are assimilators. That was my bad. But finally, Night End does get that Nexus down. So wondering what this gas is going to be for, for Sierra. He is not spending very much money on any army right now. Just that queen and drones uh, for the first base, uh, first long stretch of this game and getting that second hatchery up. But uh, interestingly, he does have a Zergling here at the front, so he knows about this cannon here. He did run up there, and he does have an Overlord parked on just a great spot up this cliff, as Night End is not going to be able to do any spotting up that cliff for a while. And Sierra actually has an Overlord right over the top of this Nexus, right here on the cliff over here, so he's got really good vision of everything Night End is doing. Night End does not have a Cybernex Core finished yet, so no Stalker is going to be able to take out these Overlords just yet. Two cannons are in place, though to uh, stop any zergling aggression at that front door. So the natural hatchery for Sierra is up. He is starting to morph his first hatchery into a lair now, so we're going to finally see what this gas is being accumulated so heavily for, whether it's going to be hydras or mutas or what have you, infestors maybe. He is getting zergling speed now with some of that gas though, so if I had to guess, I would probably bet against mutas because he is not saving up tons and tons of gas. He does not have these other two assimilators and any drones feeding into those immediately, so with the smaller gas amount, probably just going to be getting hydras. He's rallying his lings over here. It looks like Night End is not going to be aggressive at all, uh, only getting one zealot out basically to help protect his front. He is getting lots of gas up now, three assimilators at once. No fourth just yet, but um, just one unit on the field with that zealot. Where to go? He is just going to take a look around and you know walk around, maybe test uh, Sierra's front over here. But Sierra is building... Whoa! Hold up! That is not a Hydralisk Den. That is a Nidus Network. <laughs> okay, so Sierra 
does have really good overage, uh, Overlord coverage all over Night End's base already. Two more gateways are coming down for Night End, but I don't ha think he has any reason to believe that a Nidus network is coming. Night End does get his one Zealot surrounded by these Speedlings here at the bottom of the ramp. And he is going to need some more army quickly if a Nidus network is going to be coming in. Oh, crap, here it is. So this Overlord that was hanging out over the Nexus comes over here to the tray line, and a Nidus Worm starts warping in. Night End does not see it at all. Oh, my God. He is going to drop a pylon now, though, and immediately spot that coming in before hearing the roar. Look at all these Speedlings flooding out. Oh, my goodness. Night End does not really have anything to combat this. He's only got one Zealot blocking his front, and I don't know where that Stalker ended up or if he's still warping in. But there is just a ton of Lings coming in now killing this pylon right away they do want to stay away from those cannons though he basically has free reign over this entire main base though there are no cannons and no zealots everything in here is just going to get wiped out by look at the sheer number of speedlings coming out of that nidus worm that is just crazy sierra is doing something i've never seen actually pulled off in a high level tournament game what is going on in the front it looks like night end is starting to defend just as natural right now he's got a stalker and a zealot there throwing up a couple more cannons uh, actually, Sierra could just pop a Nidus Worm right here and be able to kill out all this stuff with any ranged units. Oh, and here Sierra is actually pulling out two uh, two drones out of the Nidus network and getting some spine crawlers. He's going to be able to just jab away at this assimilator if he plants them over here. He might even be able to get this forge. The Zerglings have now finished off every single building in Night End's main. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> four gateways going up to five gateways now for night end to try and defend against this holy crap two spine crawlers going to be able to jab away at the stalker the zealot these assimilators all these speedlings still alive he could actually run them into this mineral line as there are no cannons really in range of the mineral line yet so what is he going to do he's going to surround the stalker to help keep his spine crawlers alive he's getting bottlenecked here he really could just run them right into that probe line the probe's actually surrounding the few zerglings who do get in there so sierra is committing a couple of mistakes even after having this huge advantage here by actually taking over his base he's got two more drones parked in that network he's going to pull them out now for some more spine crawlers most likely and sierra actually does have a ton of minerals to spend but uh, he kind of missed his window for getting all these lings into the probe line. That probably would have been GG right there. He could even throw up another Nidus Network here as those cannons are out of range. And uh, he does have a Hydralisk Den up now, creating six Hydras. He's got two bases fully operational. Has not been has not been stopped mining at all this entire game. Four Stalkers now coming up for Night End. He probably wants to use all of them here. Yeah, finally he does pull up that other Stalker. Able to kill one spine crawler here, and not really enough zerglings to stop this many uh, stalkers from killing off these spine crawlers. So Sierra is going to have to do some more work here quickly to maintain this advantage. Oh, here six hydras pop out finally from that Nidus network, but I don't know if they're going to be enough to take out this many stalkers that keep warping in for night end. I'm going to set this to busy. Sorry about that, but um. So these drones come out now. Two more spine colors going down for Sierra. This one trying to root itself. Probably going to go down before it can do anything, yeah. And so Nidan basically stuck on one gas and a few probes mining. He has not even sent anything outside of his base. He's just trying to break this contain. He's basically fighting at two fronts right now. You see he's got one side walled off and the other side kind of cannoned off but these spine crawlers keep going down for Sierra not doing a good job supporting them he only has two hydras left and this is actually a pretty good number of stalkers to be able to take this out if he starts on these spine crawlers quickly he will be able to effectively break this contain and even be able to kill off that Nidus worm there are nine hydralisks being made for Sierra right now but none of them are in the field so he is not going to be able to hold this off. The Nidus Worm finally goes down, so great job by Night End to finally break that down. Now I would really love to see a Nidus Worm right here <laughs> with those Hydralisks, because Night End would be totally powerless to stop them from shooting this, 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 basically the entire left half of the map. But um, a couple of mistakes there, including not getting the Zerglings into the probe line and not fortifying that Nidus Worm. Oh, he's trying to get another Nidus Worm up here, but uh, Night End does spot it and is able to take out the Overlord even, so he might be able to claw his way back into this game. Oh, another Nidus Worm trying to come in here on the right side of the map. Night End does not see it just yet, but he will get over there in time to stop it. Actually, it's almost going to finish. He is, If he's able to flood those units out quickly, oh, the, look at all these Hydras coming out now, and a Queen, and Drones. 
so another Night of Storm <laughs> trying to come in. Sierra's all over the place with these worms, but still has not chosen the perfect spot to do it. I'm a little upset, but still, I'm just going to stop mentioning it because he's not going to he's not gonna do it, I don't think. But a hatchery finally coming in. Wow, so <laughs> uh, Sierra's effectively taking over Night End's original spawn here and going to be able to hold this contain even better with this much creep and this much larva just right here ready to go. Having the Night of Swarm over here is actually going to be beneficial. It's going to take longer for the creep to get over here for a nice contain, but it's going to be safer back here behind this wall of hydras and lings with that queen helping out for transfusions. He's spreading creep tumors all over the place already, so this whole base is just going to be creeped out. Night End not going to be able to save enough money to expand anywhere. He's got to keep warping in stalkers and zealots to be able to hold this off. The hydras finally move into a good position to take out that pylon. Looks like Night End is going to bring up all his stalkers here to try and combat this, but Sierra is going to be able to take out this pylon and two cannons go down unpowered. That's only going to help Sierra. Uh, is he going to build another pylon? It doesn't look like he started to yet, but this Hydra is actually in range of this forge too. Going to be able to kill that pretty easily. Stalkers coming up trying to defend again, and Hydras go down pretty quick uh, if they're not in a good concave here. And this is a pretty good number of Stalkers here. Ten Stalkers against only nine Hydras. Transfusion comes down on one of the Hydras, so that Queen is coming in real handy here. Hatchery finally gets finished. No other worms that I've seen yet. Oh, and if you look at the mini-map, Sierra actually has sent overlords to all the other mineable bases just to make sure he isn't escaping. Oh, Stalker's moving up the ramp now, going to be able to take out these lings and a handful of hydras. This queen does not have enough energy to transfuse anything. He is going to fall back a little bit, try to force field there to even slow them down, but these hydras do escape. They're a little bit faster on the creep here. He is going to be able to get into sort of a, a back backed up position so they can't flink them and these force fields finally go down these hydras and queen queen actually doing some really good tanking here from the sentries and the stalkers able to absorb a lot of shots get one more transfusion off on this hydra more hydras coming in right here at this base more hydras coming in from this worm all the time night end actually has a pretty decent sized army but i don't know if he's gonna be able to kill off the rest of these hydras oh my god if he loses this army he's probably all but done with this game he's spent basically all his resources here. He's down to only 30 gas as he has not had enough time on that assimilator and Night End actually does call GG here. So some amazing Nidus Worm play out of Sierra. Excellent, excellent work by him. That Danish Zerg player against Night End to win this go for SC2 game. Wow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, please stick around for more commentaries in the very near future.